Well, for our next performance optimization step, we have to learn a little bit more about the system debugger. This is system debugger. And as you can see, I can run my script. I select it on the left. And it is as well possible to track what happens if I run that script in a way of that I get connected to my end logger and the end logger tells me what my script and my objects and whatever else happens in my memory of my machine. To do so, I move in the logger section, which is on the button. Here we are. And the first thing that, that you have to do is to click on the magic dock ear on the right. And if you do that, you get a lot of options. First of all, I have to turn on all logging messages for what I like to do. I have as well to start my logging options and now I can run my script again. To get aware of where we are, I can look into the logger name, for example. And you can see here, there are 5,000 SQL log messages and 3,000 object log messages because we, we already optimized a little bit our objects. And if you activate both of these loggers, then you will see it looks always a little bit similar. And just to go into that, I try now to find one of these sections. Here we are. And I start to investigate a little bit. And starting with that, you can see in the object log, there is one select store from. And what we get here, it's an ident locality, which looks very similar to what we are doing in the code where we just get one location per person object. And that is a, silly, a SQL statement, which gets then at the end executed by the SQL executor. And what that means is that per person record, we have two queries to the database, just getting the department and getting the location, which makes it to two times 1057 queries together with the query plus one, which gives us all the person data. We get at the end more than 2000 queries, just asking the database in a very short time for information. This stresses the database and because of that, it could be a good idea in addition to what we did before, to minimize the number of queries. How to do that? I close my system debugger again and I start working here with my code. The sections where we ask the database is once we define our collection object here. This is one big statement, but from my perspective, we cannot avoid it because we need the person data. And the second place where we asking the database, it's here where we ask all the time for a department name or a location. And we can avoid a lot of these SQL queries if we just load all the information about departments and locations into the memory of my script and later on then to ask my memory copy instead of the database, which should speed up as well our execution incredibly. So let's do that. Therefore, I need more or less in the position where I get my collection, two new objects which contains the department names and the location information I later know together with the primary key so that I can access it. Let's start implementation. So explaining what we did. First, we created something which is called a dictionary object. A dictionary object is like a list and the list has two columns. The first column is the key, the second column is the value. These dictionaries are known as pretty fast and so it's the right object to be used. Then I create a query like we did it for person. This query is for department and I get exactly the two columns I need, UID department and department name just in one SQL statement. Then I start to create a collection object for those. Here it is. And with the collection object elements, I, I add to my dictionary always a record that contains the key and the value. In case of the department, it is the UID of the department plus the department name. The same I do as well for the location. This time it is UID location, that is UID locality, and the name of the location, which is ident locality. 
Now I do have two dictionary objects containing all the data I need for location and all the data I need from department. With that, I can now start to overwork the code below, which is in my loop. Here we are. This gets now overworked as performance optimization so that I can avoid all of these SQL statements. Again, I insert here a second statement and then I comment the old stuff out. And now I re-implement the whole thing. To get my department name, I use now my dictionaries. For the department, it is the dictionary, dictionary department. There is a function try get value. And here I can insert now a specific object key and I get a value. The key itself, it's the element. And from the element, it is get value. And as we know, for example, the UID department, here we are. And the key we, uh, and the value we want to store to a variable and that variable is our str department like before. And the same thing I will do for the location. This time I have to use the location, try get value again, collection element of my person collection dot get value. This time it is UID locality, str locality. And to be sure that everything works okay, I add a to string behind the object to ensure that I get a string for my key value as it is defined in the dictionary. So this is my small change. And with that, I try to test my script again. My first test goes to look into the object log. Therefore, I just expand the log again. I turn on all logging functions. My script is selected. I activate logging. I run my script. Here are all of my log messages. And if you look into that log, it looks much shorter than it was before. If I just show the loggers, you can see SQL loggers 42 and object loggers 18. This is a very big difference between the thousands we have had before. So that is the first thing. Next thing is that I now like to see the result. And as you can see, if we look into this result set, then it is very impressive from my perspective. We are down to around about 209 milliseconds, which is less than a second. And it is very easy to see that this performance optimization, it's nearly 100%. That means we had 100% of runtime at the begin, and we are now down to 1% of the runtime we had at the begin. Two small changes. One is to avoid single objects. The other is to avoid too many database queries. And with that, we have got a really smart runtime we can use.